Correct. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. We'll deal with problems outside the base zone later. Huh, it's you. Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. It's just a little something I whipped up. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... Miss Asta said that gratitude has to be sincere. It's a shame that I had to finish it up so hastily. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. If he's doing research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Ah, uh, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes mm. word. Hey, uh? And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. We appreciate your high praise, Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely. But I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there. Right this way. Sure. And you are? Ah, hello, young madam. I've heard so much about you. Herta talks about you often. She's quite curious about you, as am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. Sorry, I wanted to show you around, but now I don't think I'll be able to get away. All right, see you later.
Oh, strange. It should be around here somewhere. Maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Oh, another fan of Madame Herta's? Well, I'm afraid this portrait's being taken down soon. Wait a second, I know you. I saw you chatting with Captain Arlen just now. You must be the rising star who caught Madame Herta's attention. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. I don't know who or what it was. Actually, I'm investigating that right now. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her once before. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. Hence, my silver lining. You know Madame Herta. If she's really interested in something, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. Just like this. Oh, uh, uh, that's, uh, I didn't ask you to look at that! Unbelievable! Why would something like this be in the space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave a drop of sweat! So this is what we're looking for? This suspicious evidence? It wasn't what I was expecting, but... Wait a second. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, oh, I see. This is electronic graffiti that appears to represent Punk Lordian symbols. I if I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. We need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. Ugh, you got me there. I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want a friend. Anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you too? Ah, just do me a favor. It won't take up too much of your time. Here, just point it at the graffiti on the wall.
us here. <laughs> this is double speed. Take that, Clara. Eliminating front. Help me, Mr. Storm. Mission command. Mission command. Time for a fun. <laughs> me to death! Did you see that? It seemed like something popped up here, then Void Rangers jumped out! But look! Just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted! If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Is this a transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemy somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez! Stellaron hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. It's not only impressive, how should I put it? She can edit reality as freely as she could edit a program. Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? I always thought it was fringe science and that nobody other than the masked fools believed it really existed. There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. Even put down a question mark. They must be making fun of us. She went towards the base zone. <sighs> yep. There's only one way. Ah, disappeared again? This thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering it. She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. She makes it seem easy. Is she really looking at the Curio Collection Index? Judging by how calm she is, she must have been in this room for a while. Maybe she was waiting for someone. Not sure what happened after that. Let's search somewhere else. Graffiti's location is quite... interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. They call this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game and having fun is what's most important. I don't understand that way of thinking. But it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. The same thing happened last time as well. 
I was so close to the target, but got obliterated in the final battle of information. You're right. It doesn't help to dwell on past failures. Thank you. Ah, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. They seem to be heading toward the monitoring room. Another graffiti. They're all different, too. She really put some thought into this. Huh? Is this section of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. I don't think so. That's not the same as passing straight through a wall. Look. Hold on, I got it. It might be an effect from a curio. There was a pre-established folded space here and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the curio collection index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Hmm, why would they leave you here if their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron, no problem. Huh? There's no graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed! The trail has gone cold. Ugh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> Sorry, that sounded better in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely unfamiliar to you. <laughs> 